All right, this is another video announcing one of the big new features of OS 7. So um, I have a group of videos. Uh, I'm going to be shooting several today, several over the next couple days. Uh, so be sure to check them all because there's just too much to do in one video. Um, but basically, um, I'll probably do an overarching uh, kind of an intro to this. But one of the big new capabilities coming to OS 7 is going to make um, Profi just so much more realistic, so much just um, the amount of stuff we're going to be able to do now. So a big piece that I've been working on with Frederick is the ability for styles to interact with fonts. Um, and what that means is you're, in the past, the font and the style were two separate things. They're connected in the preset in your config, um, but once you had a font set, that font played no matter what happened on the blade. Um, so this particular style is Pull to the Darkness. Now, Pull to the Darkness has been around for a while. It's gone through a lot of iterations, pretty much since, I think, OS 1.3. But the thing that's always been is we change the, the pull to the darkness essentially starts out as a light side user who gets pulled to the darkness, the, the saber turns into a Sith red. Um, but since its inception, it's always been based on a font, and the font has always remained the same when the change happens. Well now, the style code actually interacts with the font and can change the font using a brand new method uh, for OS 7, um, which there'll be a bunch of documentation on. It is a new setup. Um, basically, you can set up any existing font you want for this, but it is a new way to set up the font that allows the style code to interact with it and change it. Um, so, we'll uh, ignite. So this is my pull to the darkness, but now, well, listen, so this is a light side hum. And swings and the ignition and retraction of light side. All right. But now, when I go to do Pull to the Darkness, now this one's a force implementation. That's the other thing with that was introduced with OS 6, but also there's even more coming with OS 7, is the ability to have the interactive controls for how you want to do dual phase or multi-phase or any of that stuff. Um, so this is set up as a dual phase, but it uses the force um, toggle. So what happens is when I do the force effect, I'm going to get pulled to the darkness. Now, there's one-way versions and two-way versions. This happens to be a two-way version. So what's going to happen, when I do my force effect, the saber, the visual effects have always in Pull the Darkness changed from light to dark side. Um, but the sound, the font has remained the same. Now, what's actually going to happen is the style code is actually going to tell the font to change using a new alt font mechanism, which there will be a bunch of documentation on how to set it up. Um, but so now the style code actually can interact with your font and change the sounds. And it's going to change in this setup. It changes the hum, the swing, the in, the out, the lock up, everything. Um, but there's a multiple ways to set it up. You can have it just change the hum. You can have it just change ignitions or attractions or any sounds you want. You can actually now set the font up so that it can interact with the style. And then the style code actually controls when that font changes. Um, so it's not a separate font. It's a new way of building a single font and that allows that font to then interact with the style code. And what that does is now it gives us synergy between all the visual effects that we've been able to do and the sound effects, uh, which is going to just open the door for so many things, which is why there's so many videos. So definitely check them all out. But let's, let's get to it. I'll stop talking. I'll do the force effect and listen to the font and watch the saber. And I have it do a long fade. Um, you can set up anything you want in terms of how it transitions. But now it's actually an unstable saber sound. And the ignition and retraction are unstable. And now I can change back. So we'll listen to this one. And now when I change back, it's going to go back to my light side clock. And now I'm back in my light side clock. And this allows us to do these really awesome visual effects that we can control with so many new mechanisms. Um, but we can also now keep the sounds in sync with them. Um, so uh, that was always kind of something I was chasing forever since the original Pull to the Darkness was, all right, I changed to the dark side. Well, how do I get the font to do that? And it wasn't possible. You could do the multi-phase, which multi-phase was a very different thing. So anybody who's seen multi-phase, what multi-phase was is you actually changed presets. Um, and what it would do is it would go from the first preset to the next preset. But that actually reloaded the font, it reloaded the style code, it turned off the saber momentarily and turned it back on so you got an ignition retraction effect. This is all done from the style code in a single font. 
um, but it is something that you will be setting up. So there will be uh, documentation to read on how to set the funnel. It's not difficult, but it's a new way of doing it. And that new way of doing it that Frederick uh, developed is actually what allows the style code to talk to it. So that was kind of the thing I was chasing forever, is how to get the style code, which can do so many visual effects, to be able to interact with those fonts. And now we have it, and this is the last piece of the puzzle for so many new things. So definitely check out all the new videos, but as we go out, I'll do one more change, and you can hear it and watch it. And this, and this is a simple one. There, there's so much more coming. So keep an eye out. Check out all the videos on this stuff because there's a lot of stuff coming, guys. So hope you enjoy.